Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to try putting tissue paper in resin. It's something that I've been wanting to try for a while now, and I'm also curious to see whether the tissue paper color will fade. If this is something that sparks your interest too, then please keep on watching. I have here this resin tray mold that I bought off of Amazon. It's from Let's Resin and it seems like a good size. It's not too big or too small, it's just the size of Montreal. <laughs> Comment down below if you've ever sung or heard that as a kid. I'm honestly not sure if that rhyme is sung outside of Canada. Anyways, <laughs> it's meant to make a 10 by 7 inch tray and I like how it has a lip. I've made another resin tray before with a different mold where I had to make the handles for it and in the end it came out really really pretty but I didn't like the style that much. I will be using J. Diction's epoxy resin for this project. It's another resin I've come by that once cured, it's nice and solid, there's no bendiness to it. Which, if you're making a resin tray, it's a must. Hi! <laughs> The first step I did in making the tray was I mixed up some white resin for the lip of the tray. White goes with every color palette just like black but I thought black would be a little too dark for the colors of the tissue paper that I'm using and that's what I wanted to pop out, the colors of the tissue paper. Once I had cleaned up my edges and the little splatters of resin, I set the mold aside so the lid could cure and I went ahead and started cutting out my tissue paper. I used the guillotine which made cutting the paper so much faster and more even, but it was also kind of easy to rip. I think it's because the way it cuts, I have to slide the blade across and the paper just kept getting jammed, but once I had gotten the hang of it, it was a breeze. Then to cut the paper into squares, I just used my good old scissors. Before I started placing down the tissue paper, I quickly put down some translucent holographic glitter on the mold itself. I just wanted to give the tray a little extra detail and give it a little bit more sparkle. <laughs> then it was time to put down the tissue paper. Now, I'm not going to lie, putting down the tissue paper was the hardest part of this process. My initial plan was to do a checkerboard-like pattern and have the squares of paper lined up nicely, but as you guys can see after my third attempt, there were way more attempts than three, <laughs> just so that you guys know. <laughs> it just wasn't working and I just had to let it go and just randomly started putting down the tissue paper. The reason it wasn't working was because for starters, my tissue paper squares weren't fully even. They were all cut the same thickness, but I didn't get an even length when I cut them with the scissors. And then also the littlest breeze of air or the little nudge with my fingers, the papers would just move. But in the end, I do think this tray turned out really great. Randomly placing the papers down looks cool. I highly suggest using five colors of tissue paper though, if you were to try this yourself. Because when I did change the plan for the pattern, I also had decided to keep each color separate. I didn't want two squares of the same colors touching each other, but it was impossible to do with only three colors of paper. Once my tissue paper was down and I was as happy as I could be with the pattern I did end up with, I mixed up some more resin and poured it into the mold. It's really satisfying seeing the tissue paper soak up the resin. I love seeing the colors get darker. 
One really interesting thing that did happen was being able to feel the texture of the paper through my silicon tool as I was removing the air bubbles. You guys will see that part in just a moment, but as I was pushing the air bubbles up and out of the resin, the tissue paper felt rough and gritty. Surprisingly, it also felt somewhat thick. I probably sound a little crazy <laughs> describing the way the tissue paper felt, but it was really strange feeling the tissue paper like that through my silicon tool. I was also expecting the tissue paper to be very fragile and break at the slightest touch, but the tissue paper held. I was being as gentle as possible, so maybe that's why it didn't rip. It's now the next day and I can demold the resin tray. I'm really liking how vibrant the colors of the tissue paper look. There are quite a few air bubble cavities here, 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 but not to worry. We can easily mix up a small batch of resin, which we'll do in just a moment and dome the inside of the tray and these cavities will disappear just like magic. As you guys can see, the air bubble cavities are gone and here's the end result of the resin tray with the tissue paper. Now I am recording this portion of the video now. It's currently January 19, 2023. I did record most of this video last year, so I'm happy to give you guys this update. It's been quite a few months now and the tissue paper hasn't really faded, though it is starting to get hard to tell between the purple and the pink. The blue tissue paper is doing really well still. It's very vibrant. But with the naked eye, it's starting to get harder to tell which one is purple and which one is pink. Funny enough, on my camera screen, I can still tell that that's the purple one and then that's the pink tissue paper. But yeah, with the naked eye and depending on the light settings, it's getting harder and harder to differentiate which one's which. I'm also happy to report that the resin hasn't yellowed yet. If it does look yellow, it's just the colors messing with my phone. Uh, it's throwing off the white balance. And yeah, be sure to comment down below if this is something you guys will try. Uh, if you guys will try putting tissue paper in resin. I think this is a really cool idea and I'm really happy and impressed with the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys learned something. Be sure to check out my other videos that are popping up on screen right now. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!